Alright, I want to show you why I'm doing this video. Okay, I have this chainsaw. I looked up the model number. This is the IPV, Illustrated Parts Breakdown. Okay, the front housing is number one, and the back housing is number two, number 17, actually. Uh, the back housing is the part I really need. So I want to go, uh, I'm going to go to the, the parts thing, and number one, we're sorry it's no longer uh, available. And if we go down to number 17, I'm sorry. We're no longer available. So just right out of luck, it's called obsolete. So now I'm going to show you how I fix this. So far, it's working pretty good. All right, before we rebuild this thing, okay, this is uh, the parts. And uh, a lot of stuff here has to be reconstructed. It definitely has to be cleaned up. But uh, this guy right here, if you come in the back, you can see the two bolts. These are the two bolts that uh, go in the back here. It has to fit in. You have to line up these guys and see these two right here where my finger's pointing? They line up with this right here. Alright, so we're going to put it in and actually it, it goes very well up on top here too. I just dropped it. Might not be able to do this with one hand, but uh, I'll bring it back when it's in spot. Alright, so here it is. Um, it's, it sits up in here and it lines up over here. Let me switch hands real quick. Okay, so you need to take some pictures of how this is going to be because after it's all cleaned up, it has to sit in there really nice and uh, be pretty solid. Um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, trying to hold the hold the camera at the same time I'm doing this. Uh, so uh, that's how that's going to sit in. Got to do one piece at a time because um, what happened here is this guy. All right, goes in here, and from the get-go, there was no bracket for holding this uh, little plate right here in the spot. So uh, all this has to be really cleaned up good. I would empty it out. All it has in there is oil. Got to empty the oil out of this thing. Uh, we're going to go as far as even uh, trying to fix this gap right here, taking the cover off and doing this. So if you have a chainsaw like this, this is going to be a really good video to, to help uh, resurrect, I guess, um, the use of it. I'm going to do what I can without spending too much money and uh, build this guy up really good. All right, hopefully better than what was there before. But it is going to take some time, some materials. I'm thinking liquid nail or uh, Gorilla Glue. Uh, we're going to try different things, but first stuff, uh, got to use something to get this grease off, or this oil off, and all the dirt off. And I'm thinking alcohol or some sort, uh, soaking it in, getting it real clean. All right, the first step is getting this uh, part uh, taken apart. All the screws for this one is basically the same except for this one that has a spacer in it. All right, and you need to remember where that goes, and it's actually on the bottom, all right, which, uh, which goes through right here. All right, so now the nice thing is all the anchors, the, the nuts built into this thing, is all good. All right, nothing's broken on this side eh, except for that one right there. I got to work on that one. Uh, reinforce that. That's good. That's good. Over here is good. Now, over on this side, that's good. This one came off. And it sits back in, and you can tell right now that this one is, and it has the two uh, wings on it, that uh, the frame. Uh, this guy down here, okay, fits right right back on. I should be able to clean that up and actually glue it on really good uh, with something that's really going to hold the plastic together. All right, so take a brush. Okay, you're going to brush off the, the pieces as much as par uh, possible before putting any alcohol or anything on there, detergent, to get them really sparkling clean. Just uh, really get the gunk off. Get all the heavy heavy dirt out of there and stuff. Uh, this is where the chain oil uh, goes and it goes through and comes out here and it dispenses I think through that little hole right there. So you want to keep that clear. All right. Um, this looks in really good condition, the motor. Uh, so the motor works, the chainsaw works as you saw in a previous video. Uh, definitely make sure you're unplugged before you open this guy up. I'll even uh, make a warning in the front of this video. All right, so hopefully this all works out and is worth putting on YouTube if we can get everything going good and anchored in there good. Well, I tell you, how's that for clean? Even this little guy down here. The best stuff in the world to this day. Gum out. <laughs> Carburetor choke cleaner. Use it on this guy and it works good. I mean, all the way around. Uh, let's see if I can pick this guy up. All the way around in the, in the area that's going to be worked on is spotless. It's really good. All right, I might just hit it again. Just keep it. Uh, you might want to do something I didn't do and uh, put some gloves on because it is cold. When you're working with your hands, yeah, do a wipe over. I mean, if it looks like it's not clean enough, then uh, do it again. Uh, but you want it clean. You want to dry before you put anything on there to, to start molding things and put it into place. 
remember, keep this guy free and clear. That's where your, your uh, chain oil is coming in. All right, first step is build up this area, leaving room for the, uh, for the screw that goes in there. All right, second step is the screw. All right, these guys should be easy to glue back on. All right, and uh, then we're going to start putting everything together and see what happens. Picked up one of my spacers and the thing fell in half. <laughs> Just something else I got to do. So uh, a little bit of glue is going to work wonders. Make sure it works on plastic, okay? All right, I just used uh, Gorilla Glue to actually put this one back into place, uh, that guy back into place. I had to glue those two together, so I have to wait for it to dry. All right, um, this one over here into place. So uh, those are all in spot. Uh, I'm going to let those dry and uh, and take uh, and uh, cure. Uh, then I'll come back and put this in that area there. Those will be done, and then the big big job is going to be this guy here to build it up. Okay, I already have the other half uh, inside, um, close to the wood burning stove, so it uh, cures overnight. Uh, I put some Gorilla Glue um, uh, around this and set it in there. Uh, here's one really important part here. Okay, this little guy here that runs across this track. All right, that's uh, it goes through the track on that. You need to make sure that this area is clear. So you might have to take a razor blade or a knife and trim that away after this dries. And some up here you might have to do that too because uh, this is where some set screws go um, uh, along with uh, these guys. So uh, we're going to let this cure overnight and uh, even though it takes uh, only about an hour or two, I'm not in a big hurry to do this. Uh, it's still a concern to me just how I'm going to build up in here, uh, build this guy up. But nevertheless this will be uh, well anchored I think with that. It did not work good with liquid nail at all. So uh, grill glue is going to have to be the answer. Now that looks really good after a day of uh, drying. I tugged on it and everything. There is a little dripping right here from the glue and I'll have to take a razor blade or a knife and cut that off. I'll worry about that later on. Now the thing is, this guy right here sits like this. Alright, with, with the screw, uh, the bolt coming through here. I have to keep an eye on this area right here where the plate goes. I don't want to come out past that, so it looks like right here is my limit. All right, of building this back up. So, so um, what I'm going to do is just use the Gorilla Glue. I'm going to mask and tape here. I'm going to mask and tape here. I want to put probably just the square, the square piece from this in there, so it'll sit. If it fills up the hole that the screw goes through, I could just take something and uh, cut the hole out, so the screw will go in. But I'm, uh, my main thing now is when this thing's vibrating, when this thing's running, how good the Gorilla Glue's uh, going to actually uh, hold in. But it'll be uh, quite a test for it. I mean, the, the ultimate test, really, to rebuild. It's going to be 100% Gorilla Glue in here. No uh, pieces of plastic or anything. Uh, and just let it uh, foam up and fill in. And that's, my, that's the idea. Okay, I um, inserted the other bolt for the chainsaw uh, right there. And um, the idea is I was going to mask it here and I would have blocked up that hole. Uh, so didn't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask around it. Alright, so it'll fill in. It'll fill all this in. And uh, I'll have the square piece sitting right about here. Uh, and anything else that protrudes out, spills out, uh, I'll probably have this next to the fireplace again so it uh, cures pretty fast. And then um, tomorrow when it's all hard, I'll just scrape away and mold it into place. See how that works out. I was able to wedge the metal piece in there. I decided to keep the screw in and the uh, the pin that uh, it hooks up to is in there the proper way. Um, this is this is the part that is all busted out right in there. The retainer of it. Okay so it looks like it goes up right in this way. It's going to be really hard to etch that in um, and fix that in. This looks like it was all covered up. All this was covered up up here. So I got to figure out how I'm going to ask him to mash this. I left the screw in so I can back it out when the glue is all over it. Scrape around to get it out. But I want to keep it to where it's holding the top part in. It's actually in pretty good area. But I'm afraid with the vibration and adjustments and with the chain on, the bar on, it's going to do something. So I need to reinforce it. Now Gorilla Glue does expand. Okay, so uh, that's, the, that's my key theory to this, is going to fill in everything and I can carve it. So right now it's in there and I need to move it. I don't want it to pour out on the other side of the card, 
the paper and I need to get it into a warm area. So that's about where I'm going to settle for today and tomorrow it should be ready to trim. I've been uh, kind of uh, day by day or what is it about three, every three hours or so putting a layer on. It's been uh, two days now uh, building this guy up. Um, so when I took this tape off right here and moved to the side I still saw the bolt. The bolt that uh, is right right there. So I, I want to put a layer of uh, Gorilla Glue over that as if it's the plastic. Uh, a lot of it did drip down on the bottom down here. Uh, I can go ahead and cut that away when I do my uh, trimming. But I don't want to protrude. I don't think I want to go past the upper part of the plastic here when I build this up. So it's going to, it takes time. And you have to watch out you don't drain inside the, the cavity here. I've already, uh, I've already moved the screw around a lot. Uh, that's working good. Uh, you know, move that, that thing up and down. So that's all working good. I do need to make sure that that port right there stays clear. I think so far it's doing good. Alright, so just keep keep uh, playing with it. You gotta build it up and give it reinforcement. Hey, it doesn't look too shabby. That's uh, pretty well uh, done. Okay, the, the hole up on top where the oil comes out is good. I'm going to take a knife and uh, trim and all it is is a sawing motion be careful with the knife okay um, uh, us as adults should be fine but I'm worried about kids watching this all right, I am not responsible for any dang danger that happens so I, I am uh, trimming all the excess uh, glue off got some down inside this motor see right there oh back up okay here we go uh, Got some down in the motor right there, so got to get that out. So all it is, is uh, it comes out pretty easy, and there it goes. Okay, so no, nothing else down in the motor. Didn't get down in the holes. There's some along, uh, along right, right in uh, this area. You got to clean all this up. That's what's nice about this. I'm just uh, worried that, uh, you know, just uh, how, uh, how well this is going to. Uh, do under stress of this thing running. We need to come around on this side. I need to take the tape off. Alright, let me get the camera down a little bit for you. Start now. Alright, uh, got to get the tape off. See what it looks underneath. Uh, if I can get the tape off. Okay. So that's the back bolts, and that's how much it caked over the bolts. So just reach in there and get that out. It's still wet underneath. Yeah, it's definitely wet underneath. Get this stuff out of here. It's like a heavy plastic, which is nice. I might just wait before starting this up. Okay, I'm not going to worry about over here. This I'm going to leave. All right, because it's part of all this, and I don't want to disturb that. All right, um, the screw. I need a flathead screwdriver uh, to check that. I got a knife here that will work too. Um, I'm gonna clean off my knife. Not bad for a knife that I found in the drive in the parking lot somewhere. Return this. Okay, so that adjusts just fine. That moves just fine. I'm not going to mess with anything around that, and it moves this uh, track on the other side just fine. All right, so uh, so I think uh, it probably uh, oh, there's a lot down inside. Wow, it dripped down in there a lot. So let's get down. It's um, I don't know if you can see that. It's inside that track area where this thing runs along, and that can cause a problem. So I need to get all that out. So I'm just running the knife up and down and get that stuff out of there. So that last bit of glue I put in there ran down inside here. It found the lowest point and went to it. So got, got to get the track all cleared out. And there it is. Got that out. There's some more down in there, so got to just get it all out. And there's some more up against the thing. I think I need to pull this screw all the way that way and get with a clean up underneath. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. 
Now what I did is I cleaned out the channel in there real good before putting this on and this clears just fine. Now the purpose of doing this is this one, the one that was actually removed was, uh, was the, the threads were so far down that it barely came through that. So I decided to go ahead and uh, put these two on and let it dry like this and, and uh, on this side here it doesn't look like the, the, the bolt here went too far in at all. So uh, this is still drying. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just let it dry like this. All right, and then uh, when it's all done, uh, it, here in about a day or so, when it's completely hard, uh, we're going to we're going to uh, do a run test on it tomorrow afternoon. I think when the rain stops and I can get out there and uh, actually see if this is really going to work. So so uh, stay tuned. Hey, while I'm waiting for uh, that all to dry, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on this. This is uh, leftover glue from uh, gluing the gluing this in. Um, it actually got really d deep in here. Uh, watch your finger if you got your na nail going down like this. We got to clean this out so the screw can go in. All right. So uh, this is this is the one uh, that I had to glue the two pieces together. And if you noticed right there, they're not perfectly matched. So what I'm going to do is take a screw and go through it to make sure it'll go through. A little screw. And it looks like it's doing just fine. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and put this guy back on. Um, I'm starting to get a little excited here. It looks like, oh, we got to make sure that uh, power cord in the back here goes through the right way. That's uh, being that. not good if we get the whole thing on and the power cord's not sitting in there right. So make sure the channel is in there good. This is all looking really, really good. Well, I hope this comes out nice. All right, so um, wow, this is just I'm, I'm starting to get a little excited. It's looking really good. So let's put this guy in first. I'm just going to work my way around and see how it works out. The key thing is if we tighten down and it holds. I don't know if it clicks. That clicked there. I don't know if it clicks around. So I don't think you need to watch the whole thing. I'm just going to go ahead and screw it all down. And bring it back. So it fastened down really nice, but the only problem is when I put this guy on the bottom, I heard a crack over here. And also when I turned this, that turned a little bit, and I think what it did is it turned inside. Because remember, all this is glue. All right, so uh, yeah, I think I'm going to sit there and just let this dry. Um, I think it's a lot better off than when it was brand spanking new, though. I mean, everything here is closed up now, all the way around. Uh, down here looks really, really good. Underneath looks really good. Uh, the only thing is, got to let this area here dry really good. So I'm going to wait another uh, 24, maybe 48 hours, uh, let it all harden. And you know, if really it's the costume look, I can always paint that all black. <laughs> well, we'll see. Well, I waited a good uh, over 24 hours, and it's very hard, like a rock almost. Uh, everything, uh, everything's worked good. They adjusted the chain went out nice. Um, I had to tighten this one down to, to meet uh, the threads that are on the outside. So over on this side, it did go in some right there. I uh, don't think that's going to be an issue. All right, I could probably trim a lot of this, a lot of this off, or it'll just uh, uh, fall off while it's being used. So it is on the outside of that. I think it'll um, line up just good, uh, real good after it starts. Uh, I'm ready to turn it over. That's what it looks like. Okay, so uh, like I said, it's cosmetic wise, I'm not worried about. Uh, I am worried about what happens when I turn this on and run it, and we're going to find well, out. Here's now. the test. Okay, uh, no oil is in there yet. It's, uh, I'm not going to use this on uh, wood just yet. I just want to make sure that uh, this area is not going to fall apart on me. So here we go. Very nice. 
It's on there good. It's not shaking. It's not shaking at all. Now to go test it out on the wood itself. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go uh, saw with it a while. I'll t you know, I'll, I'll make it to where it's dull, and then uh, bring it back in the next video, uh, showing you how to use a Dremel tool to sharpen these this chain down. And that it's okay to use a Dremel tool and just how to use it. All right, subscribe if you would, please. Bye.